Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all the students. I hope everyone is in the pink of health and doing good over there. So for this week, PQS 601 will be talking about another topic called water reticulation works. So I hope the students, you are all ready with uh, your standard method of measurements your drawings uh, that has been provided to you in the Google Classroom and also uh, your calculator uh, and uh, pen pencil of course so let's start so for this uh, measurement of a water reticulation works as we as usual students um, it will start um, at the main authority supply or what we call a sub public uh, water supply and ended at the water tank that going into your uh, building so um, you have to be very clear about that because when the water supply entering the building it will be under cold and hot water supply calculation so basically, um, if you look at this, um, they are a responsibility of the um, client, okay, or on a responsibility once uh, this water supply enter into a building compound. So remember, I mentioned to you that always remember to identify um, your site uh, locality and also the borders. For your site uh, because we want to know uh, where your work will start and end it okay so here will be the council responsibility and this site will be the owner res responsibility so uh, here is the detail of the information on the water meter that we will discuss uh, further later so here are the typical items to be measured of course with uh, this calculation you should be referring to your standard method of measurement too uh, and look at section V of your SMM uh, section V you can refer to uh, 131 okay uh, and always remember uh, any um, taking off will start with this uh, taking off list and of course if you have a query list you need to have a list of query list and um, uh, under v.1 there will be items like uh, informations about the current site that you need to explain further if you haven't explained that in the previous section like uh, uh, other uh, uh, external works calculations such as surface water drain uh, sewerage and so on okay for this typical item it will start with excavating with trenches uh, it should be referred to section v.2 and blinding for covering that will be v.4 v. if i'm not mistaken yeah pipe support and so on will be under v.5 okay and for the water reticulation works there will be item like valve valve chambers hydrants bulb meter all of these need to be referred uh, at uh, any appropriate heading uh, and then we have um, um, valve marker painting to valve connection to main and lastly of course you need to test your system and that will be under v.7 and v.8 so I hope that at this point of time, you're already familiar with section V of your SMM. When I said V.1, automatically we will refer to items generally. V.2 is on excavation. V.3 is on disposal of water. V.4 is on uh, bed benching and covering. 
okay and v.5 is about pipe works and related works and so on so i hope student you already have this capability at this point of time so um this is just an explanation uh, that uh, I, I'm very sure you are familiar with uh, elevated uh, tank and the suction tank, which normally will be measured differently under uh, ancillary buildings. Okay, for V.2 um, excavation trench for this particular water reticulation is basically the principle is uh, the same as well. Uh, always remember under v.2 uh, since we are excavating the trenches okay this is what we call as the trenches okay to place the piping for water reticulation okay water red okay so it will refer to section v.2 trenches to receive pipes so v.2.3 so always remember v.2.3 it says that okay to receive pipes not exceeding 200 okay may be grouped together and if your pipe exceeding 200 should be given separately stating the heading so for uh so it depends on your nominal size of your pipes and you have to mention the starting level okay maximum depth and average depth and you need to include as well under v.2 or v.2.5 where all of this item will be mentioned in your description so this is the example of uh, the trench excavation okay this is a trench excavation it's a huge pipe you can look at the human here people the workers here and then the pipe diameter it's, it's very huge and it will be buried with uh, some soil and also there will be a bed right this is how you explain your um, excavating the trenches okay in your bills of quantity so remember at the bachelor degree level not just doing the tucking off but you need to generate your bills of quantity as well so uh, when you enter uh, your description in your bills of quantity make sure that you are using the full sentence and um, uh, not just a symbol like for example diameter normally we just use simple like a diameter symbol sam sorry diameter diameter symbol but in pq it, it has to be written in full okay um, so excavating trenches to receive mild steel pipes depends on your nominal size if it's less than 200 remember it can be grouped together in one description but if it's more than 200 it should be an individual uh, description okay always remember this that has been stated in v.2.3 okay always remember to mention the starting level of excavation maximum depth and average depth i hope at this point of time you already know the difference between maximum depth and the average depth and also include all necessary works that has been mentioned under uh, under v.2.5 for blinding, uh, normally uh, it will be referred to section V.4, that's right. So for this V.4, uh, it says that your blinding should be measured in meter. Okay, in meter. And then you need to state the size, nominal size of your pipe to be laid with a thickness of the bed. Uh, and also, uh, items like... Um, 
leveling and spreading if you are using sand so you need to mention the word sand or if you are using concrete then you should mention it is a concrete bed it depends on your drawing and uh, depends on the situation and uh, what has been prescribed by uh, detail uh, details by the engineers in the drawing okay this is uh, the sample entry in the BQ uh, so in this case they are using sand sand bed what will be the thickness it need to be mentioned and then uh, type of pipe remember you have to mention this as well and um, including the pipe surround with sand backfill top spread and level, level and compacted so the unit will be in meter for the pipes okay you should be referred to uh, v.5 it says that in your bq v.5.1 pipes measure overall fittings shall each be given in meters stating the kind and quality of pipe the nominal size and the method of jointing okay all of this item need to be mentioned clearly in your description reason being you uh, always remember this why you need to uh, supply or write a correct description is that uh, the one who are pricing your uh, bills of quantities are relying on what you are describing okay and make sure that what you are describing in your bills of quantity descriptions is not contradict to what has been mentioned in the drawing and the specification that is why i always mention to my students as a qs we have to be very very careful and very details in doing this taking off and producing a bq so there are various types of um, pipes available for the water reticulation the most common one that is a hdpe pipe uh, i know uh, if you ever help your father at home changing the you know what uh, the piping and so on i'm very sure you know what is hdpe pipes uh, and then we have the mild steel pipes upvc pipes di ductile, ductile iron pipes uh, and then we have AC pipes, uh, asbestos cement pipes, and uh, PSC uh, is the pre-stressed concrete pipe. So these are the kind of pipes that you should be familiar with. And please do further readings on the types of pipes because um, as CQS, we need to know all of the details in order for us to provide a good bills of quantities. So example of pipes. This is how we write uh, the description in the BQ. Okay, uh, this is a type of pipes, nominal size, and the quality of our pipes, and how you are going to join the pipes. So in this case, they are using welding and item lead in trench in meter. Okay, all of this can be referred to V.5.1. All right, um, I think that's all for uh, part one uh, of this lecture. I'll see you guys at part two. Thank you very much.